Good day, my name is Andre Bakaling and this will be my report for Intelligent Systems Research Review. So I've gathered uh, three research papers and uh, the first one is about folding clothes tool using Arduino, Uno Microcontroller, and Gear Servo. Uh, this research is authored by Yuda Irawan, Rekni Wayuni, and Henry Fonda and it is published in the year 2020 and the publication is journal of robotics robotics and control its strength is that it eases workload in household chores and it also shortens time in folding clothes the weakness would be it needs multiple motors to run when clothes are overloaded and the materials used in this um, research is arduino gear servo ultrasonic sensor a shirt folding board and etc about this research it it utilizes the capabilities of arduino the gear servo and other components by creating an automatic clothes folder it eases the work in the household and the necessary components like the arduino gear servo are attached to a wooden frame so there are photos here nagaling sa, sa research paper here so yung folding board ay naka-attach sa wooden frame tapos yung mga circuitries like the Arduino, uh, the Arduino nasa likod ng wooden frame tapos ang gear servo naka-attach siya sa folding sa folding board it serves as the one na mag-fold sa folding board and the ultrasonic sensor is yan yung mag-activate sa gear servo so for example, my malapit na objects sa uh, ultrasonic sensor, for example, my hand, if ma detect niya yung hand, then the folding board will fold by the help of the gear servo. So that's how the automatic loads folder works. So moving on to the next research is about heart rate monitoring system using fingertip through Arduino and processing software. So the authors are Bandana Malik and Ajit Kumar Patro. It is published in the year 2016 and its publication is International Journal of Science. So the strength that I find in this research is that this measurement is more accurate than just placing our thumb or fingers over the person's arterial pulsation. For example, dito, mag measure ka ng for ng beats per minute mo sa heart mo, mas accurate to siya kaysa sa just by using our hand. And weakness, it records real-time heart rate but does not save the heart rate data. So the materials used is that uh, is the Arduino, an IR infrared sensor, and an infrared transmitter, and other circuitry. So it's a description. It monitors a person's heart rate through fingertip and Arduino. And ginamit nila yung principle of photofeltismography or PPG. Uh, it means that it is a non-invasive method, which means uh, it's a method na hindi makasira sa, sa body mo. A non-invasive method of measuring the variation in blood volume in tissue using a light source and detector. The blood fluctuation can be detected through an optical sensing mechanism. And it also uses an IR LED and a photodiode to monitor the blood volume inside the fingertip. The blood fluctuation can be detected through an optical sensing mechanism that is placed around the fingertip. So the signal will be amplified and that information will be sent to the Arduino with the help of serial port communication. Meanwhile, the sensor has an IR LED and a photodiode. The job of these two is to monitor the blood volume inside our fingertips. Once this is done, the person's pulse will be obtained. Here are some photos galing sa research na to. So, moving on to the third third research paper this one is distance sensing with ultrasonic sensor and arduino 
The authors are N. Anjulata, B. Ramamurti, and K. Bharat Kumar. It is also published in the year 2016. And the publication is International Journal of Advanced Research Ideas, Innovation, and Technology. Its strength is that it is low cost and it is accurate. Weakness is the target orientation is the limitation of this system. Its materials used, of course, the Arduino, ultrasonic sensor, and ser servo motors. So, an ultrasonic sensor is a device that measures the distance of the target object through the air using a non-contact technology. The research de uh, researchers designed an ultrasonic distance meter to test the capabilities of the ultrasonic sensor. We attach the sensor to a servo motor. The servo motor rotates in a clockwise and, uh, and counterclockwise direction. Then the sensor measures the distance around the sensor. After that, the measured distance is calculated using the Arduino microcontroller within a predefined time interval. So we can see this device, the ultrasonic sensors, in the back of, of our cars. For example, when magbacking yung car, tapos malapit siya sa wall, mag-receive sila ng signal na malapit na siya mabangga. So it, this is one of the uses sa uh, ultrasonic sensor and that is pretty much it for my researches thank you for listening and bye